All right, now, I'm real fast. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. This shall come to pass. My name is Geek. I put them on as a shocker. Man, I love these blue blockers. Everything is clear. They block out the sun. Oh, yeah, I got to get me some. Yeah. Everything is groovy now. No bull in my speech. This is what I do up and down Venice Beach. My name is Geek. I'm more than a hip hopper. And I'll be cheap in my blue blockers. Yeah. Now, what do I mean? Yes, these sunglasses are really, really keen. So there you have the folks out there in TV land. Get you some glasses, that's sweep in the land. Remember what I said, now I'm a hip hopper, yeah. So get you some blue blockers. Mm. Nah, you just been sweet. I'll see you later, I gotta make some money on the beach. We then gave him a free fare for doing such a great job. Watch him continue. Oh, check it out now. Because what you heard me say on TV, they give him these pairs of blockers for free. Everything is fake, now listen to me. Like I said before, they gave them to me free. You can get them where? You gotta order them on TV? All right, now believe you me, there's a number soon that appear on your screen. Everything is groovy, do you know what I mean? I soak like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> yep, these monsters all cave with me. Yeah, I think. It's a fact. My blocker, yeah, they go with my hat. What more can I say? Oh, they are so nice. These are the words that, that I, I like it too spice. Fight. Everything is straight now, I must speak. Blue blockers, yep, are for a Dr. Geek. Que paso, amigo, que hey, senorita. With the blue blockers, your life is muy bonita. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, man. You fucked that up. What you talking about? You should have went straight to the... Yes. Just run it back. Uh Uh-uh. All that in there. What? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you. Without that gangster music, you get ripped to read. I shouldn't have left you without that gangster music you can rap to. What's up? What's up? What? Up, what's up? And why the time my dangers? Fumbling over here, man. It's been so long. We shouldn't have left you, but uh. We back. I know what man would have been like a month. Uh, I think I don't think it's been quite a month. Well, maybe possibly a month, but the last episode wasn't. It was re- the last episode might have been recorded to make it a month, but it wasn't put out. I think based on when it was released. Yeah. All right, man. If well, that make any sense? This is the shooting hip show with your boy Montoya, the Reese. Um, five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. That's five five nine eight two five shot. Uh, home base shoot from the hip dot xyz all that's still there y'all i know we've been a minute since we put something out but ain't nothing changed uh shoot from as uh, from the underscore hip Whoa. on twitter hey man let me get it out man chill um and uh shoot from the hip show on everything else man we still here we got our fumbling out the gate man getting the cobweb knocked off and uh something we back in the mix man and we back, and we back, and we back. Yeah, man. So, what's the good word over there? Uh, I don't oh, know. Should I, I should have hit him with that joke first. How about that? All right, man. <laughs> hey, what's the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal one? One is in the ass. The taste. <laughs> 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 but don't change up in here. But don't change. All right, like he said, we back. Uh. This is totally different, uh, different uh, setting here. Oh, man, big time. We in the mo. Now, hold up. Hold on. Where we at? We in Missouri State we in the mo? No, this the mo. Murder mo? No, the mo. Okay, we in the mo. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, like Chance the Rapper says, we all back. Yeah. Uh, we shouldn't have left y'all uh, so long, but shit, man, fuck, y'all ain't been able to go to certain places for a long time, so I'm sure y'all okay dealing with not hearing from us. Apparently y'all I don't know, give a man. fuck. Nobody called this motherfucker. They motherfucker didn't even check and see how we was doing. Like that. Nobody was like, man, it's been a minute. Yeah, man. people people checked on us, man. Well, I ain't get shit. Our man Corey hit us. Y'all good fellas? Did he? Yeah. On, he on, on, on Instagram. 
<laughs> no, I didn't erase it. Shout out to Corey. Corey been riding hard for a long time. You understand? I fucks with Corey. I just don't ride bikes like he do. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah. I need to do something, man. My knees been killing me. Oh, boy. that's <laughs> That ain't the Rona. That's AIDS. That's Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> It is Arthur kicking your ass already. It is kicking my ass. But anyway, uh, we back. Uh, so you said it's been a month. Uh, I feel, know feel like it. Feel like it's been a month. I know you got a lot of shit been going on. Uh, what's the biggest deal been going on in the Montoya's household? Man, you know I had all these thoughts planned out in my head yesterday, and you fucked them up. And, and, not, and now I'm over here like I can't remember exactly what's what. Well, I will tell you what I've been going. Through, yeah, man. going. Since you can't remember shit. First thing first is we have to figure out a schedule uh, for this shit. Yeah, you got to do that. So I don't know how we going to make this work. Uh, I don't know where y'all live, but here in Houston, everything is spread out. And so we went from being two minutes away to damn near two hours in rush hour traffic. Away. <laughs> it ain't that bad, but I get shit. Come on, man. Shit. Come on, dog. Nah, that's I'd, I'd say about. 50 minutes in rush hour traffic yeah you saying you can get from your house to where i'm at or to here do you have you been to, to the new crib no i mean i know the area all right it's back there yeah i would imagine yeah so yeah. so yeah uh but anyway so we got to figure out a recording schedule uh i could preferably my preference has always been the one week thing i think we got a custom that i think Y'all got accustomed to that. Yeah, that, I, I mean that's that's the formula. That's the formula. But I think until we get the, I'm gonna say every other week until we get the Rona up out of here. Until, <laughs> dude, man, the Rona ain't going nowhere, man. For the rest of our life, hey, amen. If if it is in fact a real thing, we are not doing it the right way to get rid of it. Well, I'll tell you this, uh, being the good married man that I am. I do a few things that, uh, to like some people go to strip clubs, some people mm-hmm. just ain't shit. Yeah, I just like go to H E B. Some people go golfing. Yeah, no, 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 no. You taking not, the wrong turn. Not wearing no mask. You don't need no mask, golf. <laughs> Fuck all that. You understand? No, what I'm saying is, all I need is a little trip to H E B. And what is that, nigga? That's that's, Shut out of shit. That's Cisco Grizzly being Cisco Grizzly. And then going to the gym so I can get some black.com. Uh, you see what I'm saying? I ain't got the damn kaching. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. So as long as long as I have my 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 two to three week, my two to three time at the local grocery store and then go to the gym so I can get some black.com, I'm good. But, but th- this Rona is fucking all that up. Yeah, and I, yeah. I can't live like this. I be in HB. I'm like, damn. I be looking from feet up, and I and then sometimes, not. I just want you to acknowledge me that you know I'm looking at you. Yeah, and I know you bad, and you know I know you bad, and we just gonna keep it moving. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give them some kind of affirmative. Yeah, it's kind of like you yeah, need an affirmative. I see you doing that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you over there. Take my ass home, but I see you. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. All right. You know, oh man, you this know, shit is fucking whack. That dude. sounds real creeperish of you. What? Look at women? No, no, that I want her to see me seeing her. Okay. <laughs> you adding that to it? Sound like a creeper. That's what you said in that so don't many sound words. Creepy. That sounds like women like that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I noticed that they do. Oh shit. So you better stop playing with nah, me. Man. Stop playing with I me. I can't front like I I'm not familiar. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, just like pointing fingers. This, this past, like my wife cannot sit still. So this past weekend, you know, see the problem with women is they can't have fun by themselves. Uh-huh. I can, you can get in the garage. Yeah. You know, don't I used to be able to get in the backyard, and I don't need shit. Stoking right. some drink. Mm-mm. They 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 not happy unless they're doing some shit to inconvenience you, yeah, you or be involved. and taking pictures to post. To say, look at us. They just not happy with that. So we went to Galveston and rented a pontoon boat. Yeah, look at that. I saw that video. Mm-hmm. Like a you player. You didn't see where that bitch almost flipped over. Oh well, see. <laughs> <laughs> so we rented a pontoon boat. Uh, 
You asking for it. Yeah, I am asking for it. Ain't nobody in that line. Oh, Captain Reese out. over there. I was the captain of that motherfucking boat. Yeah. I am the captain now. Yeah. Uh, so it ran the pontoon boat, uh, did a little fishing. I actually pulled a fish in. For real? It, yeah, you didn't see it? No, I didn't see that. I mean, how many eyes did it have? Two. <laughs> so check this out. So I, I What do you call a fish with no eyes? Pussy. <laughs> well, you, you all fucked up. There it is. I'm working on it, dog. So here you go, right here. Okay. What is that? A garfish? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it ain't. Not. I I didn't pull it in. It was pulled in. I helped him oh, pull it in. Okay. That well, shit ugly in the do shit looked like a goddamn uh, anaconda. That's that's why I think that's why I got that name. Yeah, that's why. I, this is what I pulled in. Okay, catfish. It, and I was, I'm like, of why? all fish that you don't even fool, fool with, I don't eat catfish. That's, I don't eat catfish. It's junk fish. Yeah, I don't eat catfish. I know that. And so, I uh, still eat it though. Do you? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't go out my way, but if it's there, and it's you know, that's what y'all eating. You, you ain't gonna just not eat it, right? I, I even do that with tilapia, and I can't stand it. I, I eat tilapia. See, that's worse than catfish. No. Okay. Man took catfish and said, we got to fix this. And they made tilapia. Oh, is that what happened? That's what happened. Man, I'm going to Google that. No, I'm playing. Uh, I, I got you. <laughs> so, uh, so I, we pulled, I pulled it. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Because you know how catfish, they got whiskers and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is this? They look like they're going to steal something. Why could pull in a red? You know? I don't know. I'm in salt water. Yeah. So I'm like, this just don't make no sense. Now, was Galveston... The was the water cleaner than normal or what? No, nah, it was still dirty. Yeah. I mean it was regular, but my kids want to like get a a, a slide and jump in. I'm like, y'all got like fucked up. Man, you don't See, remember going to Surfside and jumping in there? Nigga, no. Nigga, this okay. shit twenty feet deep in the in the bay. Yeah, well, you don't want to play with that. Yeah. So uh, you know, I know how I work with fishing. You kinda cast it, you let it sit there, you'll see that line kind of wing mm-hmm. and then you yank. That's like, how you oh, set that shit. hook. Yeah, I'm like, oh, had to set that hook. Nah, I think time. I think it's I think I got something. So I get the reeling in and yank it a little bit, reeling in and yank it a little bit, reeling in and working yank it. on it, working on it. That's how you supposed that, to do it. Pull them on in next to the boat. I'm like, man, we didn't caught something out here. Yeah. Now I didn't have any gloves. I'm not t- because I, I feel like if I would have grabbed him, he would have jumped straight out of my hand and back. Yeah. So I didn't have no gloves that would kind of just not let the motherfucker move. So I'm like, this be gonna have to die before I fuck with him. Yeah. Motherfucker did not die. <laughs> hey, man. Didn't he, I'm talking about he had, so, a, he had a thirst for life and you trying to he rob did. him. Just kept every time we tried to and it it, it it swung caught up in his eye. Damn. Yeah. So uh Man, it, fishing is very inhumane, dog. No, it's not. Come on, man. Man, it's ton of them. I tell you what, the I ocean, caught a fish. The, one the, time. the you know, it's it's so many Parts of the ocean we have not. Touched oh yeah, saw I'm, yet. I'm. I'm very. Uh, uh, at least I know how to leave it alone. Is it eighties or eighty to ninety percent of the ocean? Uh, uh, oh, the Earth is water. Well, but we still have not. Yeah, seen we it ain't, we ain't right. The so you today. know how much fucking fish is down there? Mm-hmm. They'll be all right. They will stay there. <laughs> so <laughs> pull that. this motherfucker in, and uh, I wind up giving it to her grandmother because I, you know, I just her grandmother asks, you know, my wife grandma live in Galveston, so we. Uh, She's like, y'all get anything, bring it back to me. Get the fish. I come back. Uh, I went in Walmart on the oh. way back. Went to Walmart. No, no, no. Hold on. So I called Hojo. He's a fisherman. I said, hey, man, did you look at the picture that I sent? She said, no, nah, I ain't look. He said, I said, man, I didn't know there were catfish in Sawa. He said, yeah, but you really don't want to be fucking with that. Yeah. He said, unless somebody guard, some, not guard, but some type of catfish. He said, yeah, it's almost white. Oh, like an oh, albino cat? Some shit. So he said, oh, that's it. That's the one. Yeah, that's good fish right there. That's good fish right there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what I'm talking about, dog. So, yeah. you know, Hojo is a fisherman. Yeah. And he he's, confirmed, an, he's an outdoorsman. Yeah, he is that. He confirmed that your boy pulled in a good one, man. That's, that's, that's going to be a good meal. Man, but. Hojo showed me a video where he shot a raccoon point blank range. And I watched the thing squirm and just in pain. I'm like, dog, you you don't you get something out of that? Yeah. That shit look crazy. It shit haunts me to this day. Every time I think about that, I see that video. That fish look good, dog. Look at that motherfucker again. Yeah. 
I see you, man. I want to catch some more of the motherfuckers, but the way the pontoon boat was, so I just so the white catfish is the good one. That's what he say. Why I got to be white? Not because <laughs> that is how it is. Ah, damn, I thought we was post racial around. Even the fish got racism. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Next time, I would like to get a bigger boat. Man, they were man speed boats coming past. They were sending the current our way and pushing us to the side. Man. Yeah. Even though that boat was a nice size. Now, boat. pontoon boat is that the one with the with the two things on it? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, got you. And so you know you can dock and anchor it in the middle and just throw your cash yeah. line. And you can jump out there too. Yeah. 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 Fuck all that. But anyway, <laughs> the current just kept taking us, so we end up cl- closing in on this marina. So I'm like, boom, we hit it. And so as we got out there, it has indentions in the marina. I guess if you want to make pull it to the side. Yeah. So I'm trying to crank the motor back up and get it running again. And the motherfucker goes and goes up on the damn marina damn there. Ooh. And I'm talking about we like this. I'm like, shit. Now, I will say this. My wife was like, yeah, it was fucked up. But, man, you handled it pretty well. I was looking in your face. And you was kind of checking. You, on. You, you, had your, you had your cool face on. Yeah, huh? your yeah. Gang face. Yeah. That's so, cool, man. Yeah, so that happened. But uh, we cool had a good, under pressure. We had a good time. Like I say, women just can't sit there still. Yeah. You know, so we were able to get out there. Now, we did get into it a little bit because I said, hey, you know, do you want to drive? Do you want to drive? I said, yeah, i do it. So as we were getting ready to leave, you know, I started kicking it in high gear, pushing it to the limit. <laughs> yeah. And the kids was loving that. So it had the boat going up like this. Mm-hmm. Nose up. Yeah, nose up. Yeah. So I let my wife get in there. I said, hey, go on, get up in here. So that she like, yeah, she driving. And she just floors it. So yeah, she, she got out, do she you? gunned it. I'm like, what the fuck you doing? So she got me. Her, really, man, her you know feelings women got hurt. can't drive. Well, her feelings got hurt. She like, you know, you cussed it. I'm like, man, you fucked up. And you just having a hard time accepting that you fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, you gonna keep your, your knee on the neck on that one. Huh? Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Why'd you get this motherfucker and just, you know, so at least test it out. You know, get figure out the steering and shit like know, that. Riding a boat like driving a car. No, it's not. I know at playing. all. I'm just playing. I mean, she did a sharp turn and pushed that motherfucker, pushed throttle hey, man, all the way. You've seen that on TV, bro. It's right. it, you want to you want to have done that one point in your life, man. Well, she quickly got her ass up out that seat because she got her feelings hurt. And I'm like, nah, fuck that. Because I mean, I had, I, I had to I had to bring it back in. That's a slope. They tell you, you know, put that bitch in Lutra and let it kind of coast on in there. Yeah. I'm like, nah, I'll get your ass up. You know. <laughs> but we, and, however, uh, we we did have a good time. So uh, moving along here, that's Shoot good. Show five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. Oh, I figured five five nine eight two five shot. shot. Feels so good to say that. What you got, home team? Hey man. I installed a ring doorbell. I mean a nest a Google Nest doorbell at my house and at my mother in law's. Yeah, house. both. Both. So how do you how when did you do this? Ah oh, shit. Uh I did mine weekend four last, I think. And then the mother in laws the following weekend. Okay. But see the mother in law don't have an existing doorbell. See, I already had the ring. Mm-hmm. So sw- switching you took them the out. ring down. Yeah. Swipe it, you know. Switching them out was nothing, you know. I just so take is one it, off. Is the nest more sensitive than the? Well, one thing is that it's always recording. Where you know, uh, hold on, hold on. So if you standing by your door and you talking, if I'm standing by your door and I'm like, man, this nigga here, this nigga ain't never at home. When I come over here. Yeah, you can hear that. I I got you. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But the ring didn't do that. No, the ring cuts on when you when you walk by. Okay, and and it starts doing that, but. So you can't monitor like the past. If nothing woke it up, you wouldn't be able to to monitor that on the ring. But on the nest, you know, you can you can just scroll through the whole day, mm-hmm. see what happened. And uh, it's less of a lag when you ring the doorbell mm-hmm. on the ring. There was a there was a couple second like lag between when you press the button and when the doorbell rings in the house. Mm-hmm. Well, this Google was right there, yeah, right there. And you said it was on sale, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. When I got I got mine on sale. We've been having the mother laws for a while because I'm supposed to been install the cameras. We couldn't couldn't agree on how to get it done. Yeah. Well, I figured out a workaround. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered this long cord off of Amazon mm-hmm. so I could run the line from an attic down to the to the uh to the doorbell. 
And that was a long day there, boy. I had to drill holes and brick. We supposed to record that day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, man, it's going to be a tall order. Okay. Don't know if I could swing it, but I, I got her done. You did? Yeah, man. She satisfied? Mm-hmm. And she don't even look at the shit y'all look at it for. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. How did I know that was gonna happen? Well, man, she, what what I just heard, my wife told me she 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 feels some sort of a uh, pride about that. What's that? Yeah, my son in law checks on me. Yeah, you know that type of thing. Yeah, so you know it's cool. Okay, I ain't gonna say what I want to say. What's that? You know you're doing a good job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you recommend it over Ring? I do. Okay, I do, man. The, the app works. I mean, it's not that much greater, but I tell the difference. Okay. You know. So, so you when Apple it, makes theirs, you think it'll be better? Man, Apple ain't doing that. They don't have to. Trillion, uh, trillion dollar company. Man, see, there you go. See, th- this is hits over talent shit again. Okay. You're doing that shit again. You're the hit guy. I'm not the hit guy. You are definitely the hit guy. I'm the regular nigga. No, man. You, you Mr. Nike, Mr. Apple, everything. No. Yes, you are. I mean, I, I, I am that. I just like quality. You are you are brainwashed, sir. No, I got in what I got. I am an independent thinker over here. Okay. Well, we know you that. let Michael Jordan tell you was hot. No, matter of fact, I just bought some Jordans, I told you, but I ain't even wore them bitches yet. I'm not I don't fuck with Jordans like that. I wear Nike, I don't wear Jordans. Well, I mean, Jordan made Nike real cool. Well, that's fine, but stay still. If you if you take Jordans away, they still be killing it. No. no, nigga, what? No, 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 there's no shoe that's released that fuck with an Air Max. Nike jumped out because they had Jordan. No, because of. But if you take it away, if and you they take stop that away right now, no, they golf clothes. Are you kidding me? Man, they workout stop. clothes. Golf clothes didn't take off till they got Tiger. You, you can't keep naming the good shit. I, I'm just saying. You take them. You take Michael Jordan. You know, and Tiger Adidas, Woods you know Adidas away. has golfers too, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I know so. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Nobody knows. But about why you bringing up Adidas? We ain't talking about Adidas. We well, talking about Nike. We talking about the conglomerate. <laughs> <laughs> that is Nike. Well, you better, man. Yeah. You better hope they. Uh, I don't care what they do. <laughs> it just shit is just better than all other shit out there. It ain't. All right. So uh, as we sit here and record at the Montoya's Daddy House, yo, yeah, up, man? In the mo. In my old bedroom. For real? Yeah. That picture right there, I put that up there. That one there, that's why I left for the Navy. Yeah. Yeah. It's the office now. Yeah. Okay. That hole in the wall behind your head, I got mad at hey, my gal at the time. It's a hole right there. Yeah. With that door? Mm-hmm. Who did that? Based, I didn't do it. No, it been there. Okay. But based on my track record, I probably did that too. Damn. You need to fix that, dog. I mean, I can't help that, man. Right here fixing all lady de- next. I'm destructive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just what it is. I almost broke my microphone setting up. Yeah. <laughs> up in here. All right. So uh, I officially sold my home. Uh, it's been real hard on you, boy. Man. I've been going through it emotionally. Torn. Down goes Fraser. Scorn. Down goes Fraser. First, the fat boys break up. Yeah. Now it is. Yeah. So uh, everybody's happy. Uh, all, everybody. Friends, family, I'm not. Uh, I like being away from all of them. <laughs> Way to put it, man. I did. I just you like, like you like the distance between them. You, you got to yeah. take some effort to get to you. Yeah, I hear that. You know, and yeah. I just believe. You know, we used to have these big old parties and shit. And mm-hmm. I just believe it's gonna get worse with more oh. freeloaders and it's definitely gonna get expecting worse. Expecting you to do shit. Hey, like when y'all gonna feed us? Y'all came right back across town to the to the to the Mecca. But you know, people kept making it seem like we live for it, and I don't believe that. No. Again, I tell people I'm close to the central. It was it was an easy drive, man. And you know, a lot of people you Which know, is why I picked that neighborhood too, because it's an easy drive. It is. And people, you know, think where we well, where I used to live and where you live is far. But like Perle and Cypress, those places are far. Kingwood, those yep. places are far. Well, we stayed, that was not far. It wasn't. At all. It was inside the belt. Yeah. Come on now. Talk to me. Man, you way out there now. Uh, <laughs> so, Damn. you know, we with the mother-in-law, and uh, this is the second time around because we was there when I built the last crib. But uh, it's different now because we don't have the entire upstairs to ourselves. You know, Naya is there. 
and then we got the kids, and it's just mm-hmm. man, it's just rough, man. Yeah, it's nowhere to put shit. Even in my mother in law house is pretty big. Yeah, it's a it's a fairly nice size house, but you know, still for a full size family, it's uh pretty rough. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I found is they like it hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling with that. You in there sweating? Ooh, but it's you ain't better. got you ain't got no say over the over the thermostat. Huh? Well, my wife does turn it down at night, but oh, and I'm okay. gone during the day. Well, you know what? You should be a good good son in law and put in a, a Nest thermostat. Nest. And you can control it from your phone. <laughs> Don't, have to say Don't that. get me started. <laughs> I'm just saying. Because she gas some old uh, models with the, uh, I guess, with, with the, the mercury. The slider thing? Yeah, the slider yeah. thing with the mercury or yeah. whatever in it. Yeah. Uh, go on upgrade it, then get the app on your phone and you can fix that. Yeah. Slick like. Mm-hmm. But uh, speaking of my, where we used to live, we got up out of there, man. We ain't say bye to nobody. Man. I think people figured it out when they saw the pause in front of the yard. Yeah, it's kind of hard to. Miss yeah, that. we got on up out of there. Ain't say bye to I nobody, mean, dog. You weren't really uh, cordial with like your neighbors, were you? No, nigga, I wasn't cordial with your homeboy. See, that's not what I'm talking about. That is what you're talking. About. I'm talking about all up and down the street. I even asked you. You was like, I was like, hey, man, you don't, you don't fool with your neighbors. No, no, because no, they nosy. I don't fuck with nosy people like that. Stay okay. out of my business. So why would you people, say bye people to trying to do shit like count your money and figure out how and you, you know, why you. So why would we expect you to say bye to them? Nigga, fuck all that. They used to have these little block parties in the neighborhood. <laughs> Each little section got its own little block party. Fuck that. Like, I ain't going to that. I ain't going to that, See dog. What I'm talking about, man, just. No, sir. Just hateful. Uh, so I. I since I'm at the mother-in-law's house, I bought me a new grill. Mm. I don't have my smoker that I'm supposed to be getting. Uh, it won't be. It's not. It might be done, but we're not gonna have them delivered until we move into the new crib. Yeah, we make sure they deliver that bad boy. Oh, I, nigga, I know. Yeah, you there firsthand. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> and that shit fucking half a ton. Yeah, hey, man, it's heavy as hell, man. I tell you what, dog. I got like four briskets in my deep freezer. Yeah. Something got to happen. You ain't talking about nothing, Soon. Dog. Can I get some? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Most definitely. Can you do two briskets? Yeah. You ought to go and knock out two. I'll, go, I'll do two, huh? I mean, give your boy half of one, dog. Yeah. I deserve that. Northside 7 can get their business in, but I I just want half of one, dog. Because <laughs> I'm sure I can't fire up, but I got my Weber pit. I grilled some chicken the other day that went down. Yeah, I saw the pics. Yeah, that, I did that. So uh, I tried to smoke some sausage. That shit was whack. Mm. You know, I've been watching barbecue videos a lot late, lately. Yeah, and that they, never gets old. And they were using a Weber to smoke I don't ribs and stuff. BYT swears by this shit. Oh, you could do it? Nigga, no. That's you not can, not. but do you want to do it that way for real? Man, no. that shit is down. What's up, dog? No. But yeah, man, uh, it's time to go ahead and smoke me one. You know, and get that out the way, man. See, the good thing about you smoking the brisket is you don't eat the motherfucker. So that works for everybody. What you talking about? I eat the brisket, man. You don't eat no damn. I mean, I don't eat a lot. At all. So, I mean. You try it out. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, take all you want, dog. Take it. Just tell them, head, take it. (laughs) You don't eat none of it. Man, look here, man. We we use all of the brisket. If this Nolan, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> and, and we, we back. back. All right, Ooh, so yeah, uh, I'm getting accustomed to uh, using this uh, Weber grill. That's all I got to fuck with uh, for the time being when I'm with the brother. If you do not have a Weber grill, I suggest you have one. Uh, I'm not gonna see get a lot of smoking, smoking done, but uh, you can get the job done. Uh, if you go to YouTube, uh, you'll see a lot of people fuck with that Weber grill. I mean, I, I saw a bunch of them. And I, I kind of, con- I didn't convert my pit, but I used it as a griller. I saw day. that. How yeah. did that work out? Like a champ. So what did you grill? Uh, burgers and dogs. Yeah. And bacon wrap shrimp. On on top of that smoke on box. On top of the smoke How box. How thick is your smoke box? Oh, man, quarter, no. uh, half inch thick. Okay, there you go. Yeah, half inch thick, dog. That thing ain't going to rust out. And you got that fire up that high? Yeah. That's a big smoke box. Hey, man. I stacked that wood in there and yeah. uh, let, it, let it do its thing. Burgers and dogs. Burgers, sausage links, and uh, not dogs, but sausage links and uh, that bacon wrap shrimp dog. Yeah, went down. You grilled that? The one that come at you? But I put that in the oven. Well, I grilled <laughs> it. <laughs> you know, I had the fire going. Yeah. You know, work like a champ, dog. I don't need no weapon. Shh. 
Gucci. That's a one stop shop I got back there. You going to see. Hey, hey, trust me. You going to see. I can't wait to see, but I, I, I know what my Weber does. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a stopgap. I say, I wish. So this weekend, I'm supposed to be going out of town with Fliggity. Uh oh. And the Fliggity. The factor is yeah. real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling him that other name. Flood, no, you caught I can't, I can't say you that. You say Flood Leon. Yeah. There you the go. Skull Leon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I would have did that this weekend. I, I figure every weekend while I'm there, I'm sitting outside and, and firing up. Yes, indeed. Every, I'm you out. ought to. I don't know. Every every weekend, I'm putting some on that web. I got a new web. <laughs> Not my old web. I got a new one. Did you season it? You don't season no web. Yes, you do. Well, it's seasoned now. Man, you season everything you put some fire and wood into. You you, you know what? You're right. I should have did that, but I don't think I, I didn't do it. That's I don't right. think I did the last one because I think you was there when I fr- bought the motherfucking just threw a steak on I, it. I remember that. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think uh, BYT was sold on it. Uh, before we get to some news, I'm going to close out with this. You got anything else? Uh, no, you don't. Nope. nope. Okay. Raising the boy. He's, he's in repeat mode right now. Like slapping you twice? Like repeat Bob. <laughs> no, we, okay. we don't get that kind of accent. Okay, hey, it's the boy. I was, I was doing it. I was ranting about about one of the books he got at his christening, and he was all extra Jesusy. Oh, really? And I was like, no, like, no, 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 no. Get some Lucifer in there. Yeah, I'm he started been started watching that series too. What? Yeah, Lucifer he got a series. Okay, mm. but yeah. uh there was some stuff in there that I wasn't agreeing with, and I said no, 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 and I like kept Jesus reading. Being white, and I yeah, no, 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 <laughs> and so I must have said that about four times before the boy caught into it. Yeah, and once I started saying it, he started saying it with me. No, 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 shaking his head, grinning. I said, "All right, man, I, I gotta watch it around you now. Mm-hmm. You picking up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I did- found out my grandson's name. What is it? Cage, K A D E. Okay. So millennial. It is. You know, but so that's my grandson's name. How about that? You didn't have no say so in that? No, I didn't want none. I think if, uh, well, I ain't going to say that. I just think you should have had love. I just think it should be the month. You, need, you, want, your, you want me to have, have a skip, repeat? Skip you? He sh- you should be able to just do it. Man, look here, man. I, the older I get, the more proud of my name I am. But them early days, no, sir. No, sir. That was rough. Okay. You got you got to scuffle. You got to learn how to scrap. And people picking at you about your name, dog. I don't want that. Right. Did you get any of that? A little bit. Not too bad. No? Not as bad as you would think on paper. You would be yeah. like, damn. But no, nah, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I ain't going to act I like it was. I hear donkey dicking. Well, hey, well, you know, that happens. <laughs> you know? And, you know, with a, with a, with a unique name. Is more- I always tell him my name was Indian. You know, and, <laughs> and it stood for nuts hang low. <laughs> so my boy and I just caught me hang, hang low. <laughs> oh boy, that's pretty good, man. Hey man, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's Indian. <laughs> yeah. <all right? laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, moving along here on the Shoot from the Hip show. Uh, I had an opportunity uh, to chop it over with Uncle Les. That's yeah. how long it's been since we recorded. Yeah, he hit me, man. He said he's going to be in town. And he wanted, you know, he remember that you said that you wanted to chop it so up. So you with told him that or he heard it say it on the show? He, I think he he, he called, he, he sent me a text saying, mm-hmm. hey, I'll be in town. I know Reese wanted to holler at me. Okay. So that's how they went. Okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, D. Montoya's uncle is a very was. interesting individual. Very interesting individual, and he was a high-ranking officer in the military. Mm-hmm. And there's not many black officers in the military. On uh, you know, most black you know people are enlisted. Mm-hmm. So when you when you're an officer, you know you 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 part of you know a different and skull and crossbones. Yeah. So. I thought, man, a you know, a black officer, man, I'd be an interesting conversation because it's some of the things I didn't like about the military, there's a lot of questions I've always had. Mm. And uh, so I, I had an opportunity to chop it up with Uncle Les. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, again, we talked about his entire career. Uh, and he he told me, you know, he's very religious. 
Mm-hmm. Going back to how he was like, whoa, I can't listen to this show because y'all, okay, y'all a little too vulgar. He said yeah. he snuck back and listened to it, so we weren't that bad. Okay, the cool. Father's Day episode. Okay, cool, cool, yeah, cool. Man, y'all was pretty tame. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he yeah. you know, he he told me that uh, he had he had a lot of moments where it was kind of threw in front of him that hey, he was offered you know West Point, West Point, West Point. He kept turning it down, mm. and then since him being the man of Christ that he is. Oh, he, he finally accepted the opportunity. Okay. Uh, yeah, because of him, I was accepted in the West Point. Yeah. And they told me I had to wait a year. Why? Because I turned all of my stuff, I, all my recommendations and letters from the government and all that. I got that, like, just short of the deadline. Mm-hmm. They said, you're in, but you got to wait a year. Yeah. And I was like, well, I got a baby now. Yeah. Got to go. <laughs> <laughs> got to go. Yeah. Ain't no telling where I'd have been if I waited that year. Mm. Then you might not even know me right now. Probably not. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, hey, you'd be some. <laughs> you'd be like Hancock. Yeah. Sitting on the bench somewhere. <laughs> Check that out. With a package in your hand. Hold up, man. All right. Uh, so uh, we talked. You know, we talked about uh, his assignment as a butterball lieutenant. We talked about all his duty stakes. Spent a lot of time in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Uh, he he also told me. Did you know this? He worked for uh, one of the top. I think the top, the he worked for the top naval officer in the military. He mentioned that. Yeah, he worked for the top. Uh, he worked for an admiral, like some type of, mm-hmm. I guess, a four star or whatever. Yeah. In the navy, he worked for. He told me how great of a job there was. He also told me that they still were. They still kind of kept in touch. Yeah. Uh, for a while, I don't know if the guy's still living. Uh, he also, you know, he he told. I mean, he, it, it was so much information, man. And your dad was sitting over there just kind of buttoning in a little bit. Yeah, that's what he at, said when I, I came over here. When oh, I really? first got it, he told me about that. Oh, did he? Yeah. Yeah. So what else he tell you? He just said, uh, you know, y'all over there going for a while. Yeah. He said, man, I'm over here. I've been drinking a little bit. I said, hey, it's my house. I want to <laughs> say something. Yeah. <laughs> so he butted in. Yeah. So, man, he told me, uh, that, you know, they were his... Um, I would say in the military, we call it, I guess his branch of the army mm. were grooming him for a battalion commander. And they didn't have many black oh, battalion that. commanders and he's infantry. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he kept turning it down, turning it down. Uh, and that, that sent them, that, that was, some, that, that created some drama for him. Okay. But, uh, man, it, it was an interesting story. I wish I could have recorded it. I think I might know more about his military career than you do. I would imagine so, because uh, I, I don't ask him anything about his military. Man, it was dope. It, it was dope, man. Matter of fact, every time I see him, he's asking me oh, about, really? about my life and, my, and what we oh, doing in this show cool, and all. And I think yeah. he enjoyed it, man. Yeah. I think he oh, like, Yeah, he likes to talk. He kind of like you. What? 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 You know, like the a whole court, a hog oh, up the room. Yeah, it, it, it was an awesome conversation, yeah. man. And uh, as we was getting going, because I was I was going to each each stop. You remember that 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 YouTube video you showed me with your uncle that fell out that seat? Yeah, he called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Uncle Junior, and it was life or death. <laughs> and he had to see his brother. Yeah, and I'm like, okay. You know, and and I and I felt less was like, man, look, this is my bro. I see his face. Let me go see what he want. Yeah. If if me seeing him just gonna make him feel better, I'm gonna go ahead and head on. Go. So my wife dropped me off. Les took me to the mother in law house, and uh, I we stopped at the Walmart. I bought I bought Junior some medicine. I hope it worked. Look at that. I'm guessing it did. He's still here with us. Yeah. Well, you know. I mean, it sounds like this is the world's for the end. Well, come on, man. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> well, Uncle Junior's a special kind too, man. I when I all I kept saying <laughs> <laughs> was that YouTube. <laughs> you know what? You could have got paid. They <laughs> offered me money for that YouTube video, one of them TV shows. Oh my! God. But they weren't trying to break bread. I'm like, man, I did some research. I said, man, y'all trying to give me six hundred dollars for this video. They getting G's for these videos <laughs> after my research. Six, six hundred, I did not. Oh no, it wasn't worth that. Yeah, I had to split it with Uncle Junior. <laughs> <laughs> but you say he wasn't happy about that video. Oh, <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> he was somewhere on two eighty eight, and I think myself like Uncle Les, you know your way around here like that. So 
So I don't know. I think he uses maps, and uh, that mm-hmm. was the end of that. But man, I hope we get to finish it. Man, I had so many more questions. Man, just it was it was just so cool just to hear, you know, some of the uh, get some insight mm-hmm. on some of the stuff that you know you go through as an officer and stuff. Yeah. And uh, man, I, I tell you, man, it, it's amazing. It, it it is totally amazing. However, we've been going. Oh, we got more more breath. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you put the call out, huh? You ready to talk some news? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 40 minutes. <laughs> God, dog. All right. All right. Uh, Fox News. They, make this they got slapped though. with another lawsuit. You know, they got slapped with a lawsuit before uh, with a few of their female, you know, the big, you know, they even made a movie about it uh, starring several uh, act- actresses in Hollywood about, um, you know, what was going on at Fox News with uh, Roger L. Okay. Well, apparently it's still going on. Uh, they've been there's one report that was fired. He's accused of raping a woman, and now Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson is also in the, his sexual harassment lawsuit. Look at that. Yeah. So they fired the main guy. Uh, you know, it just makes these guys stronger. I mean, I guess they're Teflon. They are, man. Nothing's gonna happen. They might slap their wrists in public, but when the doors are closed, uh, even if they lose, five, even because Bill O'Reilly's still making paper. You know, I think Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, I don't know if Tucker Carlson is that guy like those guys. Rush Limbaugh. Yeah, I mean, them three, they are institution. Yeah, they can't do any wrong. I mean, dudes make so much money to spew the rhetoric that they spew. Hey, man. Hey, you, only get, you only earn what you, what, you, what you command. Yeah. And they, they have. I mean, we talking, I'm talking 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars. They got some sheep out there, year. man. They paying them. To Sean Hannity has she, a radio show. And he has a TV show every night, prime time, eight o'clock. The hottest spot on TV. That spot charges the highest advertising fee, and he controls that. You know, there was a time when I was almost leaning Republican. Last week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, need some help? Yeah. There you go. All right. So Watch I used to up. listen to to. Uh, a little bit of Sean Hannity. Mm-hmm. A little bit. And who else? Uh, Rush. I listened to a little bit of Rush. You trying to make it lose listeners, dude. And I was there for a hot second, dog. I was there. Yeah. But I eased up off of that, man. I, they, they went a little too far somewhere. And I was like, yeah, no, nah, I ain't that guy. Yeah. So, you know, I just was surrounded by all the other shit on, on the left-leaning side. And I was rebelling against that. Mm-hmm. So I overcorrected. And I found myself where I need to be now. Okay. Yeah. All right. So anyway, that's going on at Fox News. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Uh, but this, 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 this. Man, you, you, you know a lot about Fox News, though. A show keep up with that, dude. I just talked to Les. Okay. You have to watch your enemy. Yeah. They yeah. are. The, they are the enemy. To me, they are. Really. And I'm not talking from this left leaning. I'm just telling you, they are the voice, and they they feed. A lot of that BS to a lot of people that mm-hmm. hate us. Okay. We need niggas. Yeah. Okay. I'm All right. Saying. I got you. All right. Okay. I'm tracking my nigga. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Yeezy's running for president. Saw that. He needed some signatures. Uh, he failed to turn those in. Mm-hmm. Uh, see, I don't know if he'll get on the ballot in South Carolina. Uh, but. You know, he stood on stage with no microphone, mm-hmm. with a bulletproof vest on, saying some of the most crazy and dumbest shit I ever heard in my fucking life. Uh, again, when you give Kanye a stage in front of some white people, he going to degrade black people mm-hmm. uh, like he did. He said Harriet Tubman. <laughs> did you hear what he said? I, I did see this. Harriet Tubman, she just took black people from one white slave on to, to the another. Net. Yeah, She wasn't really, you know, instrumental in freeing black people. Yeah. Then he talked about his addiction to Percocet. Blame that on somebody else mm-hmm. and all of that shit. Uh, he talked about his plastic surgery or stuff, which we, we, you know, we heard through the wire. Yeah. Well, no. He talked about the plastic surgery for his stomach. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. lipo. Yeah, yeah, lipo. We oh, talked okay. about that on TMZ. I recall that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was some. He got into an argument with one person. But he, he just continue to make a fool of himself. And every time he gets that state, it's so clear that something ain't right with this guy. Yeah, but people keep showing up to watch, man. Mm-hmm. Well, people like watching you down. They want to see the train wreck. 
So how you enjoying it? Oh, I'm not paying attention. I mean, I I caught a little piece of it. You seem like the type of guy that would vote for Yeezy. Really? Just because yeah. I want to disrupt the establishment. Okay, I get Maybe that. that. Now, yeah. I definitely want to do that. This two-party thing is driving me yeah, fucking it's, nuts. It's, it's crazy. So I, I've been writing in names forever. Want to hear some shit? What's that? My wife has a friend that's running for, for office. Okay. And, and it's like, knowing what I know, I, I, I just couldn't do it. And yeah. I told her, <laughs> I, cannot, I can't do this. Uh-uh. I cannot. And it sucked because when you go, you have to, this last one, you have to choose Republican or Democrat. Yeah. Yeah. And so they pigeonhole you like that, man. Yeah. So, you know, and then all that behind the scenes shit. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. And the thing about it, I like my wife's friend. She's just a sweetheart. But I just know, I, I just don't, I, I think some people are held to a higher standard. And if I was wrong, God forgive me. But she did win. Okay. She got the Democratic nomination for the seat that she's running for. Okay. So we see how it works out for her. I mean, I get. I, I, well, I, I mean, guess I vote Houston, for this she time got around. a good shot. It's kind of kind of a blue city. Texas. Pink Texas. city. Texas. Yeah. Well, Texas as a whole is red. Yeah, I mean, you know, for the outside. Well, Harris of, County is blue. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, where people live. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. All right. Uh, it's almost time for the football again, but I think – Going run along with all this Black Lives Matter stuff. The NFL said, I think the week one they're going to play "Lift Every Voice and Sing." Yep, the Black National, the Black anthem. National Anthem. Have you ever heard about this? Yes, I never know about it. What the Black National Anthem? Yeah, you know where I learned that? Where in the mo? Nigga, learned it right there, third grade in Hunters Glen Elementary. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I didn't remember. It. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't restore retain it. But yeah, we used to have to sing it. Oh yeah, square business. I thought it'd be some old other Negro spiritual. <laughs> yeah, some old swing low. Change, change gonna come. Wade uh, in the water. Yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. Some shit we gonna overcome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, Lord. Come on, keep safe. Oh, Lord, what is we gonna do? <laughs> Y'all better start reading like that. <laughs> <laughs> he can read. Uh, I don't All right. Lie. Uh, the NBA is also you know all of the all of the major sports gonna be running in, in uh and together uh, in concert, uh, but the NBA will be starting back. Mm-hmm. Uh, now they got this bubble, and I also I thought this as well as Stephen A. Smith that these NBA niggas they're not gonna be able to do without these instant thoughts. No, no, they got to get out. Yeah, they, they, they got to each, get out. Each NBA season, niggas knock up. I think per team, about two to three, four, five guys per team knock up an Instagram thought. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you getting these numbers from? I'm making them up, but okay. I believe in what uh, I say. I hear you. So, you know, I don't, I don't, uh, I, I don't, I don't believe the shit gonna work. Dwight Howard, I've been victim. Of course, he gonna fucking fuck the shit up. This dumb, he got like 11, he got like 12 different baby mamas. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, uh, fruitful. he's a big kid and he's corny as fuck, but, uh, yeah, man, I don't know, man. These niggas gonna fuck this shit up and shut it down. Getting them, inst- they gonna be getting them Instagram thoughts from Miami to come to Orlando where they the gonna, bubble. They is. gonna flew them out to the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> come on, sp- you speak spreading the Rona. <laughs> you are out there speaking Ebonix. <laughs> <laughs> Ebonix. <laughs> All right. Hey man, all right. Uh, moving along here, talking news on the shoot from the show. Uh, dog. Fifty minutes in, man. Nigga, dog. What you doing, man? Nigga, I'm hosting the show. Hey, man, come on, the shoot from the hip show to be exact. Got dog it, man. Nick, hold on. Huh? When the last time we recorded? It's been about a month, man. Okay, so <laughs> Nick, I got something to say. Oh hell. Hey, that's an album. Who who wrote? Who whose album is that? I got something to say. I don't know. I, I know it's somebody's album. When you figure it out, let me know. Yeah. All right. Uh. Last of the talking news, uh, top raising fundraising official for Trump's re-election test positive. This is Kimberly Guilfoyle. Now, she is the former Fox News employee that is dating Don Jr. Uh, she gave up her job at Fox News to go fuck with the Trumps and be Don, Ju- Don Jr.'s concubine. Concubine. Yeah, she's one of three people close to Trump that's tested positive for the coronavirus. You remember the first time you heard the word concubine? On Martin. That was it. 
<laughs> Raj it. from What's Happening Now yeah. was an African dude. He wanted Gina to be his concubine. His concubine. I'm yeah. Like, I just used context clues to figure out what that was. <laughs> I had never heard that word before. I was thinking coming to America, like cleaning his penis or some yep. shit. Yeah. All right, uh, we appreciate y'all for uh, joining us, man. We back, man. We got this shit going. We gave y'all our content. We got a little bit more to go. Apparently, we got some voicemails yeah, and an email. We got some feedback. We got a little feedback, man. So yeah. we need y'all something to laugh at or think about on this break. And uh, Hey, man. What you doing, dog? Turn the mic around. There you go. There it is. Get in the mic, man. This is the Shoot from the Hip Show. We'll be right back. You and I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah, and then I got into an entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. I got into an entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. With August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. With August. 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 Entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement with August. An entanglement. An entanglement. An entanglement with August. I'm my key baby. I'm my key baby. <laughs> Hold up, man! Back, dog. Hey, we hell back, of, man. Shoot from the show is back. I'm just saying, man. Look here, y'all. Man. Y'all know how the, the song goes, man. The internet, boy. I tell you what. Hey, they should have never gave you niggas the internet. Why? Entanglement in August is is a trap song now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that, that bad boy was slapping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, according to Urban Dictionary, entanglement. Means a romantic or sexual relationship between two people, especially one that is outside of marriage or affair. Hold on, that's the definition of what entanglement? Yeah, they just made that up. Well, Urban Dictionary does. Oh mean? yeah, they made that up to fit this here. That, exactly. That ain't what entanglement mean. That's why we was like entanglement. Well, how about you ask Google? I'm about to. You must be in my head already. What's the definition of entanglement? Here's the definition of entanglement. The action or fact of entangling or being entangled. Oh, that's, that said a whole lot of nothing. Stupid. <laughs> you don't, you're not supposed to use the word in the definition. Hey, Come Siri. Come on, Google. What's the definition of entanglement? Entanglement means the action or fact of entangling or being entangled. Oh, thank you, Siri. It also oh. says here a complicated or compromising relationship or situation. Yeah, but it's because Siri hip. She extra extra Where that which shit out. Milf woman has sex with younger man. Yeah. You, you, you. Mainly see black doc no. Nah, hey, I'm finna say you're not <laughs> you're not you're not you're not selling that well. I saw you over there. Uh, oh up. man. Hey, this is the shoot for the hip show. Shoot for the hip dot XYZ is the website, man. I know you ain't heard from us heard from us in a while, but we still here. So keep fucking with us. If you donate, donate. Shit, we here. If you call, leave emails. I mean, I'm sorry, call and, and leave voicemails. There you go. Call and leave voicemails. If you want to send us an email, we appreciate those as well. Yes. Make sure you check us out on social media, on Facebook and on Instagram. Mm -hmm. We also tweet sometimes. I'm just saying, we out here, B. Out here. But I heard I had a request and some people answered. So we got breath. Hey, man, we got breath and we got an email. All right. I'm going to read this email first because it came in first. Okay. This What's the first? definition of an entanglement? Now, this is coming to you from. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, this one comes from our girl, Jennifer, Engine Design. Hey, Engine Design got some shirts, y'all. Go holler at yeah, her. Yeah, holler at her. All right, it says, hey, uh, the title is, You Shouldn't Have Left Us, with musical notes and shit. Yeah. You know, and it says, hey, y'all, thanks for shouting me out recently. 
I'm looking forward to the next episode. So much has happened since the last show. NBA question. If you were in the league, would you play in that bubble? I'm a definite no. Thanks for keeping us entertained, especially in times of COVID engine design. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just start it. You want to go ahead. Go ahead, dog. This is your bag. Okay. Uh, it depends. So there are a lot of factors involved in that, uh, Jen. If I'm LeBron, if I'm one of those hundred millionaires, like Jane, I was telling my brother today, James Harden got 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 hundreds of millions of dollars. He has a two hundred million dollar deal with Nike, and his contract with the Rockets here is going to be paying him upwards of like forty to fifty million dollars a year at the end. So those guys can afford to sit out. Uh, if I'm still trying to build my brand, maybe I was a younger player on the brink of making an All Star team, or Maybe I'm trying to sell my services to make my free agency better for the next coming season. I probably would play. It just depends on how much pull I can build up. Uh, if 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 I I don't know that any NBA players that have died, uh, if they were dying, I definitely would not. Whether I'm a big star or not, yeah. Uh, but it, it just depends. You have depends if, on the bag. If I'm an all star and I'm getting what's called a max contract. I could see myself sitting out to feel dangerous now. If I was a young player on the brink of, of you know, kind of building my name, mm-hmm. definitely I'm playing. I, I'm definitely playing. If I got five baby mamas and uh, two Insta thighs that's asking for $50,000 a month child support, I'm probably going to play. You better go ahead and play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there, man. Uh, and, I mean, it, it black.com on- is a factor. I'm just saying. Yeah, well, it depends on on your social status, man. Yeah, you know, and your overhead. If you don't need to risk it, I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, you know, but some some cats can't leave them thoughts alone. They got to go out there and make that bread. You and know, we, NBA we, players don't wear rubbers, so that's just that's just what it is. Uh, and nobody likes wearing rubbers. NBA players definitely don't like. And, it. And you, any any sports player, period, don't wear rubbers. They don't. All these half mixed ass kids entering the league now. <laughs> Come on, these boys is raw right out the gate. Yeah, <laughs> shit. But uh, and yeah, we got two voicemail. Let's go. All right, now this first one here is kind of old, but it comes from the seven five seven. So it's been there for a while. Been there for a while. So you say we have none. I man, it, it missed me. Okay, let's see. Hold up. Oh, I know who that is. Hey man, it's your boy Dale. Mm-hmm. Um. It's been a couple of shows since I've called in, so I'm just uh, just making my rounds, I guess. But hey, man, um, y'all sit up there talking about going viral, um, meeting them damn boots and noodles, but <laughs> y'all, shit, y'all can still go viral because this damn show didn't sound like y'all were eating no damn noodles. I can tell you that. So <laughs> um, all we got to do is play a little, a few snippets. This, this is a uh, shoot from the hip show. With your boy Reed, your boy Montoya, and then cut it to y'all eating quote unquote noodles. Talking about the juice and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's about enough as it is, man. All you gotta do is play that sound feed and hey, y'all boys are golden on that level. But um, but hey, Monty, anyways, man, hey, you need to um you need to get on that um that COVID dog because uh hey it's something serious, man. I've, I've had family members come down with it, and uh, I don't know what you think it is. I don't know if, if you don't believe it's COVID or if you believe it's something else. Um, but either way it goes, either way it goes, man. Something is out there getting people sick. So you can call it COVID, you can call it non-COVID, but the fact of the matter remains: people are still getting sick out there, bro. So I don't know, man. Honestly, I wouldn't believe that first either, but. Now I am, dog. So, hey. Man, they got me. The old lady is telling you to wear a damn mask. Dog, wear a mask. What is it going to hurt? You know what I'm saying? Wash your hands. 20 seconds. Soap, water. Dry your hands. Rinse and repeat, man. But, uh, hey, um, Reese, man, what's up? Hey, we're back on the house. And I hope everything now and until y'all move in is. is it's tolerable, man. I know how it could be when you gotta live with somebody else, boy. You don't want to be there. But anyways, man, I'm gonna let y'all go. I gotta finish moving myself. 
Make sure I put some money. No. I forgot to talk about um, that. I'm out, man. I holler. Yo, peace out, deal, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, if you ask what I what I've been up to, I went out to Dale's house. Oh, he, when did you go? Uh, this was man, a few weeks back. This is before he's supposed to come to your house or after. No. Remember, he's supposed to come to your house. He was supposed to help me put together that that swing set. Oh, was he? I didn't know yeah, that. Well, he offered, but I went. I, I talked to you that day. I went out there. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Dale was in the process of moving. And see, I got off from work, and I was just just spending a day not working. That's all I was doing. And I said, let me shoot out there and holler at a boy. So, I do remember that. Yeah, so I went out there, and uh, they were waiting on the waiting to hear back from the uh, the the uh, lady about the closing of the house, and they were waiting and waiting and waiting, and uh. I said I lent I lent my services. I say, man, I got a truck, man. We just load up and get on over there. I went by the new house first because I thought that's where they're gonna. So you gonna move his furniture? Well, I was gonna help him pack, you know, whatever he had boxed up, throw it in the back of the truck and take it over there. Well, we sat over there for about I want to say two, three, about three hours easy. When I first got there, he started changing oil on his truck. I said, why, man, why are you doing that now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. He changes his own oil? Hey, man, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. I, I, what I told him repeatedly while I was over there, dog, I said, dog, you are a solution looking for a problem. <laughs> oh, you just, just doing shit all randomly? Like, come on, man. You're supposed to be moving. That's, that's what we're supposed to be doing here. Well, eventually, uh, he was like, man, go on here and go, man, because... We don't know when this, when this shit gonna get signed, so we we done loaded up both trucks, and now he gotta unload mine, so I get up out of there. Wow, <laughs> yeah, man. And then he called me about I want to say it was about twenty minutes later, something something crazy like that. Okay, everything's fine now. We moving. Oh, really? Yeah. I said, look at this here, boy. Both of y'all jokers moving around about the same time. The fuck. Okay. Well, hey, shout out to Dale. Brand, appreciate you, Collins. Thank, thank you for staying down with us and fucking with us, man. And I hope your move is going well. I'm not done. I'm going to have to move again soon. But, uh, you know, man, pray for your boy, man. It's this, moving season. Yeah. Uh, We got another one? Yeah, the next one here is coming from the 817. And I know who that is. You know who that is. Let's see what she got to say. Hold up. Hey, you guys. Oh, ho, ho. I didn't want anything. I was just sitting here. Um, just in here chilling, drinking. Ain't nothing else to do. Damn Rona out here showing out. So, okay. Catching up on a few shows. Didn't really have anything to say. Just want to say, hey, guys. Um, Reese, I hope you got into your house. I'm not sure if you're in there or not, but congratulations. Um, yeah, I didn't have shit to say. Just saying, hey, y'all. Hey, I'm sure I'll be calling back once I finish listening to the rest of the show. I'm still looking for those beefy noodles because I have not found them, but I see you guys did a podcast for them. So I'm going to check that out, see what y'all have to say. But I did find his rap max, and they were hella good. I this good. Like, they're good. I was a fan of Fatty Wops, and I didn't think anyone else could do as good as his, but that was pretty good. So, Fetty anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Be safe out here in these streets, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right. All right. Shout out. Keisha. Do you love us? Yeah. Apparently you do, because you just call her. Not even say nothing, but you just call her. So we appreciate that, sister. Thank you. I tell you what, since you found out about our show, you've been one of our biggest, biggest listeners yeah, and she, fans she and all of that shit. So we definitely appreciate you, and I fuck with you forever. Forever, ever? Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Keith. Keith's been holding us down, bro. She, Big time. Yeah, she fuck with us heavy out in these streets. And she from Dallas. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As much as we hate on Dallas. Well, you. I know. I try to lump you in there with me on that. Yeah. I, I like that. I don't hate on Dallas like that. I do like to jab, though. Yeah. 
All right, uh, that's it? Yeah, that's it for the feedback there, man. Appreciate y'all. Shorty leaning on my shoulder, got a question in my willpower. Jaded by her beauty, but her reputation real solid. Morning down the hallway, I can tell you how I feel about it. Caught up in the matrix, and I doubt if I can get about it. Living like it's no tomorrow. Met your boy with open arms. Told you all my darkest stories. Promise that you won't depart. He's the over 40 cars. Left me with a broken heart. Still, I gotta get around. Favorite artist was too far. Watch a movie, then we freaking. Take it up, I'm getting deeper. Do this shit like every weekend. Guess I'm just a little secret Entanglement is when a mental lick can tell you trouble The saddest part is I still love you just to keep it simple <laughs> Boy, you gonna put me to some work around here, boy Hey, that's what you're supposed to do, man God damn it Come on, man, hit maker Yeah, all that Hey so, uh, so that was it for our emails and our voicemail We appreciate everybody that participated <laughs> in that uh, everybody that did do that, they many wrong for that die. song, though. Uh, so what you just heard was a snippet of the Entanglement song with August Alcina featuring Rick Ross. We played Rick Ross verse. Really shouldn't be playing any music on here because that kind of senses us Oof. a little bit. But I just couldn't help it based on everything that's been going on. Uh, yeah, that's funny, man. They came back with that quick, quick. Rick Ross can rap, bro. I'm telling you, Rick I know Ross, you're not a fan. He's okay. That nigga can rap, dog. He is okay. Come on, don't man. don't don't inflate him. Come like on, man. He's just okay. That nigga can rap. Anyway, uh, Will and Jada. Uh, well, Jada took herself to the red table, and she admitted what we already knew. Uh, that her and August Alcina had a relationship going on <sighs> before this even happened. I had already saw and heard the pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. And I had already heard rumors about them having an open relationship. Like every, no, yeah, everybody heard, that. everybody heard yeah. that. Uh, so this wasn't then, that big of a thing, you know. It only became a thing because he made it a thing because everybody already knew the shit. Yeah, and they are very weird. Uh, the only normal one is Will Smith's oldest kid. the 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 daughter and the son from Jada are fucked up. Yeah, they're not right. The son is he's a bottom bitch. Yeah. Uh, the daughter, she is asexual, I guess. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jada uh, is uh, fluid. Yeah, sexually J- fluid. Jada admitted to being a sex addict before. Mm-hmm. She thought sex cured everything. She admitted to fucking Tupac. Yeah, you know. Uh, so nobody's surprised by this. But then you heard the entanglement shit that we played earlier. And then there's an entanglement song, which came pretty quick. That was, that was man, that was a quick turnaround for that dog. It was almost too quick. It's almost like it was a setup. Set up. <laughs> I'm telling you, dog, you can't put that man. They 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 hood they hoodwinked all of us. Yeah. We just all so caught up in the, the sensationalism of it. Man, they probably planned this last year. <laughs> It was probably on the vision board for 2020. Ah, oh, I know how them vision boards. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. man love some y'all, vision boards. Y'all bit that shit hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. And we just round. We so caught up in it. The Rona got us sitting in the house, glued to our phone, looking for any little juicy tidbit of some drama so we can judge other people. You know, I want to do them stars. Do the, you know, they got that pussy tighten. Surgery you can get. Mm-hmm. I want to do a lot of them stars be getting. I'm they pretty should, sure. They got the money they probably do. You know, or you can go to old school, just throw some vinegar in your bath for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know apple cider vinegar. Hey, yeah. Look remember, I, I was talking to somebody. Remember honey and cinnamon some was a big deal? Back. Yeah. That was a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, then they got this sea moss. Yeah, I'm still on that. Yeah. Hold up, dog. My cousin hit me up to me. I got the sea moss. I'm like, Nigga, what? How about Amazon Prime? I ain't fucking with your well, shit. Well, he trying to sell it? Female. She oh, tell me she, she got it. it. I mean, that's the second. Man, I told you that my aunt called me trying to sell me a barbecue pit. Oh, man. Uh, my Her husband, my uncle, he passed away. She like, she spent $800 on a pit, which my my wife had already bought me a pit father. I'm like, I don't need it. But I, I hate when people try and call you because you're nice and they think, Oh, he'll be successful. So yeah. He, he'll buy my he'll shit. He'll fall for it. Yeah. He'll like, fall for the okie doke. I think that's a slap in the face when you call me. Don't call me. Hey, man. Fuck, that shit is irritating hey man, me, man. You, uh, 
Oh, he got the money. He can do it. You approachable. No. Nah, well, <laughs> all you got to do is say what? I don't know. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. You just say no, dog. Yeah. That's all you got to say. Yeah. I'm good with it. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that you can uh, make it through an entanglement if that's your gal? <laughs> If, if at my, your age, if my gal, if was your gal said she was in an entanglement, fucking some twenty three year old, I don't know, man. I mean, there's a lot of other parameters around that that you gotta, you know, be into. Now, what's the option? Do I okay? Get, let's start here. Do I go get me one? <laughs> hey, we can make it work. I don't believe that it's in a woman's nature to be horned out like that. I don't believe that either. I don't think that's proper etiquette. And they for a try woman. to say, yeah, yeah, the women can have sex just just for sex sake too. I, they got to go out of town, and they can only do that shit like once every ten years. I've never seen it where they where they don't get caught up. Mm-hmm. Never seen that. So I mean, y'all can, and then your friends don't judge you. You can you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Y'all just can't. Nah, I don't think y'all built like that. Uh, man, shout out to Jada for taking it. She 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 uh but she see, got the scarlet letter. But see the money, the money in that lifestyle, it's a lot of weirdo shit going and on. And that's the that. thing. It's not like it's she not, got caught cheating and her husband kicked her out. Right. She's still rich. Yeah. You know. Ain't ain't miss a drop. And she just she, telling the next nigga, you can't say nothing like him. Yeah. Cause I think Will got his chicks, uh, you know, like Charlize Theron, I believe is one, uh Margot Robbie. Is another one I think he on that black dot com. Oh, that's what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's in the and uh the he, old Hitchcock himself. Yeah. Hancock. Hancock. Yeah. Yeah. She Jada just got caught. And then she had a bitch ass nigga to go tell it. <laughs> he a sucker. He's for a that. sucker for that. Oh, I can't believe it. It didn't hurt him. That's what I'm saying. He did that. And then they had a song waiting. Come hey, on, man. Come on, man. He is a ultimate fuck nigga. The only one that won out of that is Rick Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. So anyway, let us know how you feel about the entanglement. Uh, let us know how you would deal with that. You know, I mean, shit. Women still out here want to get their groove on. Mm-hmm. Shit. That Seattle's ain't working for you, man. Hold up, man. You know what I'm saying? Blue uh, diamonds. Yeah. Horny goat <laughs> weed. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, how your daddy said he would come on the show, but we cuss too much. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah your daddy yeah. don't curse? Not really. He trying to go up. Man, see, that ain't right. He never was a big cursor. Well, fuck all that. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Nicki Minaj is pregnant. She uh, shared Saw on her Instagram. Hashtag preggers. Uh, mm-hmm. Now, Kenneth Petty, she's 37. I don't know. If, I'm, I'm sure he got a few baby mamas out there. He yeah. a street nigga, so they say. Yeah. Uh, you think street tight? niggas don't use rubbers? You can't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You got to be gutter. You raw. You got to be raw. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now take these kids. <laughs> uh, I think it's long overdue for her. Uh, I, I, I you think, think it's it, gonna slow it down. I mean, she can't come back and be making all them explicit songs. Cardi did it. Cardi, no, see, Cart. well, Damn. Nikki did suck Gucci Mane dick. Cardi just is dirty and scum. <laughs> they both filthy whores. Yeah? Yeah. But well, you got a lot of adjectives and, and, and shit for them. Man, look here, man. They about to clean as the bottom of your shit. Hey, there it is. And they did what they had to do to get on top. Hey, well, I, I don't begrudge them. Yeah, but I mean, good, I don't, I'm, good. I'm not listening to their music or nothing, but. Oh, you don't ride down the street banging at Nikki? Nope. But I did find myself kind of like like saying, that's not bad when I listen to Cardi stuff. See, you on that bus. That's, 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 not, that's not really that bad. Come on, man. You tripping, man. No, you tripping. You don't know how to separate the artist from the person. There's no art in somebody writing your lyrics and then you doing some buffoonery because a lot of black people out here slow enough to think that shit is hot. Uh-oh. He just called y'all slow. Y'all heard it? I said, I said, son. <laughs> Yeah, Shoot for the hip listeners are fucking swagged out and dope and smart. There you go. They just don't agree with me all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, you know. I don't I wish I wish I had a comeback for that. Sometimes you just I'm be just wrong. Saying, B. What? Just be wrong sometimes. Say dog. Why are we talking about uh Cardi and 
What's the other one? Nikki. Nikki. Uh, let's talk about uh, Meg the Stallion. <laughs> Boy, I saw that with me. You posted on. I died. <laughs> Man. Somebody didn't like that. Lashira, I think. She didn't. She put a mean face uh, em- emoji <laughs> on, the, on the post. It probably stuck because I'm like, uh, 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 you know, w- women being battered by men type shit. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't create the motherfucker. 50 Cent did. Hey, well, it's hilarious. You know, <laughs> <laughs> she look. I came burnt right now. Shout to Lashira. Oh, that was hilarious. Hey, Lashira bro. got a hate love relationship with her. Yeah. Well, she we show piss her ass off. Hey man, and she keep listening. Hey man, come on, bro. we entertaining. Hey, shout to Lashira. But uh, yeah. So I saw a video of Nick of uh, not Nikki M- Meg the Stallion, Kylie Jenner, Tori Lane, they're in the pool. Now the way it presented itself, they gonna have a threesome. Yeah, they was getting dope. loose in the pool. Some yeah. shit. That's the way they presented it to me. Well, and uh, you know, next thing I know, she's injured or she got glass in her leg. Then next thing you know, she got shot. Then you next thing you know, Tory Lanez did it. Yeah, all of that sound crazy to me. All that shit sound crazy. I didn't. I didn't hear. Then the, she the didn't wise. say nothing. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, she's saying when when people kind of making fun, like posting memes and shit. Yeah. She like that. Hey, man. Then she's saying black women getting broke, you know, getting mistreated and stuff like that, which I agree. I don't think we hold our women down. This, this thing is so over the top, man. Once again, I'm having a hard time believing it. Man, this, the the way society is now with this internet and all this, dog, I don't believe nothing I I, I, I hear. So and you say you're talking nothing about I shit I you don't believe. No, I'm saying that people need to wake up sometimes, man. If it's too damn crazy to believe, they believe that it's too damn crazy to really have happened. That's yeah. all I'm saying. There's something, man, there's so many smoke and mirrors going on. Mm-hmm. Dog, all I can do is shake my head like, who came up with this one? Yeah. It's like reading the comics. Yeah. Hey, like, come on, man. Come on, man. And, and, ain't nobody's in jail for shooting her? Well, I believe what's going to happen is... They'll look at all the facts of the case, mm-hmm. and they don't want another dead rap out here. Hey man, we, we ain't nobody. Rappers got to die. We not we not marching marching for Meg. Hashtag march for Meg. I like Meg. Hashtag march for Meg. She round here getting shot. They out here killing us. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. Let's stand on it. Yeah, <laughs> around here. That's different. Rappers can shoot rappers. Man, that's, that's cool. That is crazy talk. So. Uh yeah he I think he say his name I think he'll get an arrest warrant by the end of the week I doubt it I think so Mm-mm. they don't care when we killing us <laughs> they don't care we don't either we March for Meg we, we say his name that's a good hashtag. who shot her <laughs> say, March for Meg yeah <laughs> say his name he ain't indicted yet we need to keep the memory of like Breonna Taylor we keep doing that Tory Lane so you think Trey gonna go out there and march for her? Yeah, you know what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good le- a legitimate yeah. question. You gonna march for man? She from the H. You know we gotta we gotta we gotta hold her down. <laughs> <laughs> he get he got arrested in Kentucky for marching for. I Brown. did see that. Yeah. Then he was like, "Oh, he gotta get." Man, come on! Oh, it's so stupid. Anyway. Hey, man, he his heart's in the right place though. I believe that. Out of all the stuff I don't believe, I believe Trey the Truth got it. His, his, his heart is in the right place. Man, Trey the Truth got shot at in front of scores. Yeah? Yeah. So what does that mean? Who, who shot him? He ain't going out to them. That's, that's street shit. Yeah, man. I'm going to get you on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, we'll, I'll be watching that very closely. And I was li- I was watching someone. You you think this is gonna end Tory Lane's career? No, he he's supposed to be some type of recreator of everybody else's music. I don't know, but he might need to get a video on a song together real quick. <laughs> hey, it's, ain't no time like the present. Yeah, jump on it, man. Did he play his love to her? Made is is that what it, were they dating? I mean, they was fucking. Oh, okay. uh, all right. She doing what she got to do to get to the top. And she got a bullet hole in her nose. 
You gonna have to put Can some. Can she uh, twerk from her wheelchair? Uh, no, no. And she better put some. Uh, <laughs> what's that? Some shea butter on it. On oh, wound. nigga. <laughs> Got to do some shea butter. She got to put some shea butter on that wound, man, to get some scars out. Why are you fucking around? I did see some shit. Just like, that's something about some feet. I guess it's like foot fetish. Somebody got, oh, what? It, Evelyn Lozada. Okay. She created an OnlyFans page. Really? She dedicated to her feet. See, that's a see, damn shame. Post- <laughs> that's a damn shame. Maybe May can do that. It's something for everybody. Maybe May can do that. Yeah. It did bullet hole. <laughs> Dress that bullet hole up. Put a, <laughs> put a smiley face on it. Hey man, don't you got some with a B at ten? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go ahead. Damn, I got some shit I want to get to. Uh I tell you what we're gonna do. Uh next episode, we're gonna delve into uh uh Nick Cannon. Yeah. We'll yeah, delve yeah, into we Nick can, Cannon we, next we episode. We'll episode. make sure. And we'll talk about the Migos and the rap industry as a whole because oh they got an boy. issue Here we go. Uh, with their management and Pack all that your shit. bags, y'all. But, uh, but go ahead and cl- in closing. You ever heard of Lil Marlo? No. He did. Okay. Another dead rapper. Uh, remember I told you that. It, Meg almost died. Hey. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Nigga, so, bullets out here so flying on the drive. Lil, Lil, Lil Marlo, he, he, I think he, he's connected to QC or the Migo or whatever. Lil Yachi or some uh-huh. shit like that. He got smoked in the fucking uh, on the expressway in Atlanta. Damn! Did they find the killer? Nah, not yet. Why, man? You no know, snitching, nigga. Hey, better get that shit up out of here. <laughs> five five nine eight two five seven four six eight five five nine eight two five. Shot, man. If you know a rapper, man, just shoot at that nigga, man. Fuck it, because if you don't shoot at him, somebody else will. Hey, man, you gonna get off. <laughs> so no don't, don't don't worry about that. Ain't nobody gonna tell. No snitching, dogs. Snitch get stitches, man. Hold I'm up, telling you. Leave me in ditches. All right, this is the Shoot from the Hip Show, man. Uh, y'all know the phone number. Y'all know the email. Uh, if you don't, go look the motherfucker up, man. We glad <laughs> and happy. Way to help out, man. What you mean? <sighs> oh, nothing. Oh, shit. I just fucked up. Man, what, what, what happened, man? Man. Hey man, we wipe, wiping the cobwebs off, man. We are doing that. This is Shoot from the Hip. So, Shoot from the Hip. XYZ is the website. I am M A N N underscore A T underscore A R M S on Twitter. He is what? M O N T O Y I S K on Twitter. And man, like I said, man, we glad to be back. Uh, we got a makeshift situation going, but we going to make it happen. Keep giving y'all that hotness. This is the Shoot from the Hip show. We'll holler at y'all next go around. Deuce out the roof. 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 Deuce out Don't back, don't back.